This isn't an ordinary Deco Auto review. Yes, we have the Defender with us, an absolute beast that we love on Tech Today, but we want to take it out for a spin on a very special road. Mumbai's Coastal Road project has finally been flagged off. And there's a small portion, 10 and a half kilometers, which might be some respite and relief for us Mumbai cars. It is an engineering marvel, but what do we tech enthusiasts think about it? We're going to take you for a quick drive and tell you more about this design and tech marvel here on Tech Today. The Mumbai Coastal Road Project. Honestly, this is a side of Mumbai that I haven't seen in the last three decades. A lot of construction happening. You can see Mumbai's beautiful skyline over there. And this is all part of a larger $70 billion infrastructure push here in the larger city of Mumbai. Maximum number of construction cranes per capita that I've seen anywhere throughout my travels. But this now descends towards Breach Candy a very popular residential part of South Mumbai. There'll be an exit over there and then we will proceed to India's first undersea tunnel. That'll be worth seeing. Two kilometers, literally going under a very special location for me, which I'll reveal once we get to that tunnel right up ahead. The current section of the coastal road that we're on and it's Uncanny to see the city from a different perspective, but this current section connects Burley to Marine Drive. So one end of South Mumbai to the bustling heart of Burley. But this will only truly be complete if two more things happen in the next few months. The first one being that this goes, currently it goes from north to south, but we also wanted to open the other way around. So it's a two-way street. And the second thing that will really make this a game changer is when it connects directly to the Bandra Whirly ceiling, which you must have seen in a lot of Bollywood films already. But that is when it will truly be a game changer. And remember, this project, when complete, will connect Marine Drive, Nariman Point, all the way till Kandivali. What would usually take two hours would be done in 35 to 40 minutes. Absolutely mind-boggling, the engineering, the tech. And now is a very special moment out here. I've got a sign telling me you are now entering India's first undersea tunnel. What's this about? Well, let's check it out. Two and a half kilometers cutting through Malabar Hill, one of the nicest localities of Mumbai and perhaps the country. And this is the first such undersea tunnel built anywhere uh, in the country. It's a crazy engineering feat because they've used one machine throughout, which I'll tell you a little bit more about, which has actually dug through the mountain. Fire safety measures, we've got a bus lane on the left. It doesn't feel like you're in Mumbai. Look at the signages. You have audio announcements coming. Also, ventilation has been managed really well in this undersea tunnel. And it's kind of confusing, but you will get goosebumps if you realize that you're actually under the Arabian Sea at this point. This coastal road has finally come up. 2018 remembers when they began and we've already got this first, maybe 20% of the total project that has opened up right now in its current form. And, uh, you know, this is just 2024. So maybe in the next couple of years, this will be a game changer. The way we saw work happening over here, you're now seeing that work happening on the Bandra side. You're also seeing that work continuing all the way up towards Kandivali. So it's happening at an exponential pace. And it's a proud moment for us Mumbaikers. And honestly, you can see that big multi-billion dollar infrastructure push here in Mumbai, which will mean this coastal road. We saw the Atal Setu inauguration, game changer. And then we also have the metro project, which is nearing completion. We've been a work in progress for a while, Mumbai city, but now we're back and we're coming back with a bang. Now we're nearing the end of this two, two and a half kilometer undersea tunnel, which we saw was built by LNT and it opens up right in the center of Marine Drive. And it's taken us, what, six, seven minutes. In peak hour traffic, this will take us 30 to 40 minutes. And like we've told you, we explained a little bit about the tech, the engineering when it comes to this particular coastal road and how this project can be a game changer for Mumbai, for India, for real estate, and also for the environment, by the way. This is the exit for now. On the other side, you can see that they're building the south to north section, which will open in a few days. But honestly, it feels like a new city altogether. Let me pull over and give you, well, my take 
on this very special drive here on the coastal road in Mumbai. Ah, the Mumbai coastal road in this piece, the Land Rover Defender. Now you know all about this particular car. The reason I selected this one was because of the cubby holes, the safari windows right there up on top gives you a great view to understand where you are, what the sea face is like, what the coastline is like. But we've come out from here. That's essentially from the north, from Worli to Marine Drive on the south. Undersea tunnel ends here. But it was nice to have a car like this which can handle all terrains because parts of it are topsy-turvy and bumpy. Especially this part which is still to be open to the public. You can see all the work going on. That's the, the corresponding sea tunnel. Four lanes which will head towards the north and open up on the Worli side. That will open in the next few weeks and months. But we want to get you that first look here on Tech Today. We told you all about what the technology is like, what the engineering is like, some other fun facts about the Mumbai Coastal Road and that is the sea face right there. But if I give you a few more fun facts about the Coastal Road, the road's going to be called the Dharmveer Sambhaji Maharaj Coastal Road. And of course, it's already been inaugurated in its original stage. This is an overall project, the Mumbai Coastal Road project, which would cost more than 12,000 crores, nearly 13,000 crores. And in all its splendor, it's going to be 53 kilometers long and also be connected to the Bandra Worli Sea Link. Now, the Bandra Worli Sea Link is, of course, on the northern side. That would be a game changer. You've seen that in many a Bollywood movie. But then this extends all the way to Dahisar. There's also another infrastructure push coming in Mumbai, which is also crazy engineering marvel, which is an east-west connector. I'm not going to geek out on that too much. But if you consider the undersea tunnel, that's no mean feat. 2.5 kilometers cutting through Malabar Hill. Unheard of, unprecedented. Now, the BMC, the guys who've actually pulled off the coastal road, have also told us that they plan to build 175 acres of coastal gardens. Now, a lot of that is going to be community spaces. So, this is also a huge ecological impact in a good way. It saves fuel. That's what they've said. A lot of green impact. This is going to be good for the environment. Not so many emissions. Also, lesser time in traffic around the area. Let's see how they develop the coastal road. But like you saw that undersea tunnel, they have this sort of ventilation system which keeps everything going very smoothly inside. Fire escapes, all fire safety measures have been implemented as well. When it comes to toll on the coastal road for now, it's free. I don't want to jinx that. It's perhaps the only fancy project which is free for now. Not the metro, of course, not the Atal Setu and definitely not the Bandra Verli ceiling. All the other tolls that we pay, this one, engineering feat, is free for now because it's built by the BMC. It's a cash-rich organization. They have other ways of monetization. This is going to be a stretch all the way to Kandivili. We hope it continues to be free. Let's tell you a little bit more about the Mumbai Coastal Road. And in terms of speed, well, it'll be 80 kilometers per hour usually on the coastal road. But when you take the undersea tunnel that I just came out of, you have to maintain your lane and a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So that's good news. Even then, you can cover it in three minutes, a stretch that would have taken you perhaps maybe 30 minutes in traffic, you can now do in three to four minutes. Now, all types of heavy vehicles are not allowed on this road, excluding best and ST buses. And of course, like we saw on the first day, electric buses will be seen in all their splendor on the coastal road. Pedestrians, two-wheelers, three-wheelers, hand-pull carts, cycles, and disabled persons, motorcycles and scooters are also prohibited from using this particular road for now. Now, let me give you a few stats about the undersea tunnels that will make any tech geek really, really happy. That is the undersea tunnel from where it opens. And if we're talking about diameter, the twin tunnels will be around 12 meters, length of 2.07 kilometers. They're India's first undersea tunnels. And they've been bored by using India's largest diameter tunnel boring machine called Mavala. It's the first time in India that the Sarkado ventilation system will be installed in a tunnel. And it's also the first time in India that the bridge is being constructed in the sea using monopolies. Now, obviously, Mumbai is a seaside city. We know that. All you Delhi people, all the jokes, we know all about them. But now this is us really expanding. All of this is reclaimed land. Out here on Marine Drive as well, it's 111 hectares of reclaimed land for this project. That's the one way we know how to build this magnificent metropolis that is the city of Mumbai. 70 hectares of that has been reserved 
for all that green project that we were talking about. It is absolutely amazing to see this work being done, but there's a lot more work to do. So like they say, they have miles to go before they sleep, but we have to stand, stop and stare because since 2018, we've been very curious to see how this turns out. But yes, it is technology at its finest, engineering at its finest, design and planning at its finest. Let's just hope we can build on this and grow from strength to strength here in Mumbai.